Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you week 2 assignment solutions for software testing course. So friends, uh, I have uh, tried very hard to give you these answers uh, because this assessment is not uh, really easy compared to the other courses. It is very difficult. No YouTube channel gave these solutions uh, till now. So I tried my level best to give you the most probable answers. So let's see the first question. Cause effect test cases are in effect are designed using which of the following test techniques? The answer for first question is option A decision table based testing. Friends, please watch the video till the end uh, because if I make any changes in between the video, you can note that. That is option A. First question answer is option A. Moving on to the second question. They are asking the valid set of input values can be further divided into how many equivalence classes. So the answer is option C, 3. And moving on to the third one. So they are asking uh, at least how many equivalence test cases are need to be designed uh, assuming the robust testing is targeted. Actually, here there are seven classes, so uh, generally seven uh, test cases need to be designed. But keeping in the view that there is uh, less than <coughs> less than zero and also greater than hundred test case, two invalid uh, test case should also be considered. So if we consider that, then we will have seven plus one plus one. 9 test cases otherwise only 7 so I assume that uh, taking the these two test cases also that means value less than here they give greater than or equal to 0 but there is another uh, test case invalid that one is uh, less than 0 and here there is another test case possible that is invalid one that is greater than 100 if you give value greater than 100 or uh, less than 0 then we can consider 9 so I am I am going with 9 the probable answer will be 9 uh, if you know exactly any one of you please comment in the comment section so other viewers also can correct that friends before submitting uh, on the last day once again uh, visit this comment section because if I get any correct answer I will upload in the uh, comment section and also on the thumbnail of the video so any one of you if you know exactly please comment for other uh, other viewers also can be able to see that and moving on to fourth one which one of the following types of bugs may not get detected in black box testing but are very likely to get detected in white box testing the answer for this is option c trojans because trojans uh, in order to find trojans we need source code in black box testing it is not available in it, it is available in white box so answer is option c and moving on to the fifth one at least how many test cases needed for basic condition here they give three conditions first one second one and else is the third condition so i think the probable answer will be three if you know exactly any one of you please comment in the comment section my probable answer is option b so mark option b moving on to sixth one which one of the following captures the basic idea based on which design of equivalence classes of a function based on its specification is carried out so for sixth question the answer will be option A. So mark option A. Moving on to the seventh one. Which of the following uh, is there are false regarding white box testing? Here uh, probably there are three answers. That is option C white box test cases designed based on design of a program option D and option E 
that means option C, D and E. And eighth one, assume that a, a type function takes four parameters. Here it is very important, four parameters and the range 0 to 100. They are asking boundary value test cases. So generally we have that uh, there are six testing points generally. So 6 into number of parameters that is 4. 6 4 is a 24 plus 1 additional point. So 25 would be possible answer. So mark option D. That is 25. Moving on to ninth one. At least how many test cases are required to achieve multiple condition coverage of the following course. So the answer for ninth one is option D 8. That is option 4. And final question of this assessment that is 10th one. Code coverage analysis is used to measure which of the following. So generally what is meant by code coverage analysis? Uh, it is a measure to which uh, that it measures all the uh, code is tested sufficiently or not. So by that we will modify the test cases or increase the test cases whichever is possible. So we have to write, uh, we have to uh, give the test cases such that it should cover all the code. So it tests sufficiency of test cases. So the probable answer is option B. I don't think it's A. Uh, more, more pro most probably B could be the answer. So mark option B as answer. So friends, these are the probable solutions for these questions. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. And who, uh, who know the exact answers for the questions I have specified, please comment in the comment section. We will try to give the best answers to the viewers. So for further weekly videos and week videos regarding other courses, please uh, keep supporting our channel. Until then, goodbye, thank you.